I was 16 years old last time this happened. I didn't speak the language. I was on my way from Poland to the United States. Mortgage demand shrinks as interest rates hit the highest level in nearly 23 years. Mortgage interest rates just hit a level not seen since year 2000. As a result, mortgage demand is now sitting at a 27 year low. 27 years, right? So I'm 43 minus 27, I was 16 years old. This is going to be epic when the Fed reverses and starts lowering interest rates because they cannot mathematically stay this high or they will completely destroy the economy and they will blow up the government budget. The U.S. government now has, I think, $33 trillion of debt. I believe I read somewhere one-third of it needs to be refinanced sometime next year. There is absolutely no way, no mathematical possibility that they can keep these rates like this. And plus, by keeping these rates like this, they are creating inflation themselves, right? First, they created inflation during COVID. Now they're fighting the inflation by creating more inflation because it costs businesses more to do anything, more to borrow. All of those costs are passed down to the uh, consumer, paying more, creating more inflation. Also, as the interest rates stay high like this, I mean, what are we going to have? Half of the half of the government uh, revenue is going to go to service the debt. They're screwed. They're screwed because they created inflation. They can't pay them. They, they can't pay the debt back. We we know that. They're, the only way to pay it back is to uh, devalue the currency. But now everybody's going into cash, right? Into cash that's going to get. Uh, it's going to keep getting devalued at a faster rate. But it is truly remarkable. We're at 27 year low. Those companies that are sensitive to mortgage demand have been absolutely decimated. Now imagine what's going to happen when just a light, a light at the end of the tunnel shows people that it, it, it starts going the other way. It, 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 it sh so much reminds me of, of the tanker, tanker trade, where now tankers are like multi-beggars from the lows, but there was no light at the end of the tunnel. The rates, the daily rates were so horrible, horrible, when's COVID going to end? And boom, they changed. The tankers took off like there was no tomorrow. Also, look at the chart. Look at the chart what happened to the stock prices of some of the companies when they recovered from the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Now, the mortgage demand was even higher during 2008-2009. You have to go all the way to 1996 to see this. This is going to be epic. And I see some people predicting, you know, real estate crash. I mean, they've been predicting real estate crash for, for a long time. There's no crash. And now think about this. Right now you have a situation where there's not a lot of homes listed, right? So the buyers, the buyers are desperate for inventory and there isn't any because the people who have homes, well, they don't want to sell because their mortgage is a lot lower, right? And if they sold today, yeah, they would get more money, but then they would have to buy something else with a higher mortgage. So, so, uh, so there's less inventory. Also, people are sitting on the sidelines. They don't want to buy. Like I saw my sister a couple of weeks ago, and she doesn't want to buy because interest rates are high, right? Well, what do you think is going to happen to the prices of real estate when interest rates start going down and more people are, started, are going to start jumping in because, you know, lower monthly payments, increasing the demand 
for housing. You, th you think real estate, real estate prices are going to crash? I don't think so. Anyway, I was 16 years old last time mortgage demand was this low.